Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Ab Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I have the Zoya Natural 4 collection. This was Zoya's kind of transitional collection, so between winter and spring. And it is a continuation of a collection that they've kind of built on over the last several years. And so this is the fourth part in the collection. This one I thought was really neat. It's different from other natural collections and so I'm really excited to swatch these. I'll also throw in some comparisons. I'm gonna try really hard to break up the video so that you can see um, across the bottom kind of where each polish is. So you're, if you're interested in a particular polish in this collection, you can just jump ahead to go see those. And then I will see you at the end for my favorites and some final thoughts. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Evelyn. And this one is, oh my gosh, delightful. I really like this one, spoiler alert. Um, it is described by Zoya as a soft, cool toned blush pink cream with a smooth application. And I agree about everything in that description. Um, it has a really smooth application. I tend to think of colors like this that have a lot of white in them as being a little bit chalky sometimes. I kind of like prepare myself for that. Um, and what I mean by chalky is that they don't quite like glide over the nail. They don't quite like flow over the nail. You kind of have to like pull it into the places that you want it to be. Um, but this one is not at all like that. It's really smooth, um, very easy to distribute and do like nice thin coats, which is awesome. Um, I also do think it has a really beautiful, cool undertone. You'll see in the comparisons in a second, I'm going to put it next to Dot, which is another kind of like super light pink from Zoya. Um, Dot is a terrible formula in my opinion, <laughs> but it makes Dot almost look like a rose color. Uh, it's just, it's really cool. It's really neat. Um, this one, I am going to do three coats because I just have a little bit of patchiness here. I think that if I was wearing this polish like out in the world, I probably would only do two coats, um, but just because I was gonna swatch it, I was gonna get up close and personal, I really felt like that third coat, I needed it to get it totally perfect. Um, I do think that potentially if you use the wide brush, you might get two perfect coats with the wide brush. Sometimes, you know, you just need less brush strokes and so it's easier to get that full coverage with the wide brush. Um, but yeah, I didn't mind doing three coats. I thought it was super easy. And so you are looking at three coats of the very lovely, very delicate Evelyn. Okay, and here are some comparisons for Evelyn. This is Birch, Evelyn, Kennedy, and Portia. And I will show you these on swatch sticks. I did think that Birch was gonna be the closest, um, but when I got them next to each other, it actually comes out a much grayer and darker. Um, Evelyn is, yeah, really light and bright, has a lot of white in it, uh, which I really enjoyed. Um, so this one, uh, was very unique to me. I did compare it in here to some pinks, some nudes, some um, kind of like purpley grays. So let me show you those swatch sticks. Okay, here are a whole bunch of swatch sticks. Um, I really couldn't narrow it down because I just felt like I wanted to give you all of these different comparisons. I'm bringing in some kind of purpley grays here and you can see it is so much more white and a little bit more pink. But then when you look at these kind of like pinky neutrals over here, it looks a lot more purple, I think. Um, I also brought in Dot. It is the, you know, kind of super, super light pink um, that Zoya has, but I think it makes it look Evelyn look a lot more purple. It makes Evelyn look a lot more purple. So yeah, I just want to show you all of these. I will also pop in my swatch photo where I compare the ones that I thought were the closest, uh, but Evelyn for me is super unique and I also thought it had a really good formula. So really happy with that one. Okay, next up is Cami. This one is a little bit more pigmented, a little bit less white. Uh, the formula on Cami is a little bit smoother, a little bit more like fluid maybe, uh, but I actually felt like it was pretty opaque. Um, I, I was kind of surprised because this super light color, I thought I might need three coats on this one, but it was it was pretty good, it was pretty pigmented. Um, Zoya describes it as a pale mauve taupe cream, and they do say that it's a four on their intensity scale, which is, I think, it was just giving me that kind of vibe where it's not like super, super opaque. It's got a little bit of like transparency in it. Um, it's not a jelly by any means, but it definitely has a little bit of that kind of like, um, I don't know, like super glossy, a little bit translucent, uh, but I did get it opaque in two coats and I felt like it was totally doable in two coats. I definitely didn't think I needed a third coat and I really enjoyed this one. Um, when I swatched it, I thought, oh, this is not really my color. And then when I was editing this footage and editing my swatch photo, I was like, dang, my nails look really good. I like this color on me. Uh, so, you know, you live and you learn. Um, I'm gonna show you some comparisons with some other really popular mops. Okay, next up we have Portia, Cami, Avril, and Kennedy. And I was sure there was gonna be a dupe for this one. Um, I think that Cami in the bottle 
looks a little bit um, like less mauve than it actually is. And so let me show you the swatch sticks. I think you'll see what I mean. It looks very close to both Porsche and Avril, but let me show you those swatch sticks. Okay, here we go. So here is Cami, and I think it is a lot more pink than some of these other polishes. Um, it has this kind of like pinky purple undertone. I did want to bring in Rue because that's a very popular Zoya polish. And when I first saw Cami in the bottle, it reminded me of Rue. But then clearly Rue doesn't quite have the same amount of pink. Um, and so when I noticed that, I wanted to pull out Avril because I think of Avril as kind of a pinker Rue. Um, but it's not quite the right pink. It doesn't have the right purpley mauve underneath it. So yeah, this one also seems unique to me. Okay, we're gonna get a little deeper. This one is Barrett, and Zoya describes Barrett as a taupe violet cream. I would say that this looks both taupe and violet, and it's a cream. Um, they do say this one is a five on the intensity scale. I thought it had kind of a similar finish to Cami, but what do I know? Um, Zoya made it, so they probably know better than I do. Uh, this one was a little bit kind of sheer on that first coat, um, but it goes on super evenly, which I think allows it to build up really well in the second coat because you don't have a lot of patches to fill in. You're just kind of like trying to build up that color, which is really nice. Um, I, yeah, had no problems with this one. It is a very delicate polish, and so I think especially when you see it in the comparisons in a second, it just is a lot softer and a lot more delicate than the other kind of like purple gray polishes in Zoya's collection. So I'm excited that this one is added to the collection because I really like these kinds of colors. I think they're super just like lovely neutrals and I think they look really good on tons of skin tones. This is a neutral that I think lots of people can wear. Um, so you're looking at two coats of the Topi Barrett. Okay, and here we have V, Barrett, Presley, and Trudith. And again, I looked at Barrett and I was like, I have seen this polish before, I'm sure I have. I don't think, I don't think I have. Um, I just searched high and low, I looked at all my Zoyas, and I'll show you the ones that I think are the closest, but you can see it's a lot more gray um, than either uh, Trudith or V, which is kind of the two that I first thought of, um, and it's a little bit more purple than Presley, a little bit less pink. So let me show you these swatch sticks, but I think you'll agree, it's pretty unique. Okay, here we go, here's Barrett, and I also have here Vivian, this is the other kind of purpley gray one from this collection. Um, it's much more purple than Barrett, but I'm still gonna actually use the same kind of comparison swatch sticks when I get to Vivian, so, you know, keep this photo in mind. Uh, Barrett is definitely a lot more grayed out than any of the other colors here, um, but it just also didn't quite fit in with um, my grays, right? It's not as deep and dark as John and Normani. It's much lighter, it's much more purple. It's truly a very, very dusty purple, and I just, I really like it. Um, it's neutral, right? Odette and V are dusty purples, but it doesn't have the same kind of neutral gray tone as Barrett. So that's Barrett. Again, another unique one. Okay, Vivian is described as a dusty grape cream, which feels totally right to me. And Zoya lists this one as having a cool undertone, which, I would agree with, and especially when I put it next to the other polishes that I'm going to show you in the comparisons here, it makes Odette look super warm toned purple, which was really interesting because I was sure that they were going to be the same. Um, this one has a very similar formula to Barrett, where on that first coat it is, you know, like just a touch sheer, but super even, and so it's very easy to build it up. It's very easy to get that color close to what you see in the bottle. Um, and so I found this one, yeah, super easy to work with. I feel like you know, Zoya creams, you can get a little repetitive with these formula descriptions because they're usually pretty good. <laughs> but I really enjoyed this one. Um, I think Odette is one of my favorite Zoyas. I don't know, it's so good. Um, and so this one might be competing, but I do like the warm undertone in, in Odette. So you are looking at two coats of the Cool Toned Vivian. Okay, so I told you that for Vivian, I was gonna have the same comparison swatch sticks as I did for Barrett, and here they are. I just put Vivian in the middle here so you can see it closer to V, Trudith, and Odette. Um, when I saw Vivian, I was like, that is just Odette, that's the same thing. But Odette is so much warmer, and I just, I really, I was sure that it was gonna be much more similar. Vivian is probably the one in this collection that is closest to another polish, but it's, it's you know, so much deeper, so much darker. For me, I thought it was unique. You know, it's it's not like Zoya has a shortage of these like purpley gray colors. Um, they obviously just added two more to their collection, but I do think Vivian is pretty unique. 
Okay, this is Marlo, and I'm gonna show you it swatched over Evelyn here on the left, and on the, on the right, you can see it um, actually over two coats of Vivian. Um, I wanted to pick one light and one dark just to kind of show you how this one looks. This topper is very pigmented, and so I am gonna demonstrate <laughs> one of the common mistakes that can happen with a pigmented topper. Um, I put too much polish on my pointer finger in this live swatch, and then kind of tried to reel it back for my other fingers, but because of that, I didn't get a super even coverage. So it's just a little bit harder when it's a super pigmented color over a white or you know lighter base um you just have to be careful about the amount of topper that you're getting on there um ultimately i like this one over a dark color a lot better it is described as a duochrome with rose gold shimmer and slate blue base it can be worn alone or layered with any other creams um i definitely like this one layered with other creams alone i just felt like this one needed to get like three coats and so i like it as a topper Okay, here is Marlo, Devin, and Gardner. And these were really the only ones that to me looked close-ish. Um, even though Devin and Gardner are not toppers, they're both, you know, polishes that you can build up in two coats. Um, but I will show you them on swatch sticks with a couple other kind of shimmery blue toppery things. Okay, so here is Marlo with the two that I'll show you in my swatch photo, Devin and Gardner. Um, I also pulled in Fifi. I think that it's a little bit more gray and less blue. Uh, and then I pulled in Saldana and Moshin just because they're two other like blue toppers. Uh, but I think Marlo is pretty different. Um, I'm not a huge topper person. I don't wear a ton of them. Um, and this one definitely changes the color of what's underneath it. So, um, you know, it's it's gonna look different whatever you put it on, but it is gonna change the color of what's underneath it because you can see there's a lot of that blue base in there. This is two coats on my swatch stick, um, but in my swatch photos, you saw just one coat. Okay, the last color in this collection is Adeline, and oh, this one is just delicious. I absolutely love it. Um, I, yeah, I love colors like this. Zoya does have some others that are similar, but you will see they are not identical and they describe Adeline as a deep fig taupe cream i love this description as fig so great um they also say that this one is a cool tone which i agree with and i think that um you know you'll see that when i show you it compared to some of the other polishes in zoe's collection even though when this one is on its own i think it looks very much warm toned but it's sometimes hard to tell with these colors uh, this one has a great formula. It is a little bit more opaque than kind of Barrett and Vivian, the other like more um, pigmented colors in this collection. Um, so it has a very easy formula. You might even be able to do it in one coat. It wouldn't be perfect, but it would be like pretty close. Um, yeah, I, I adore this one. Like I said, these formulas get a little repetitive, but Adeline is beautiful. Okay, for comparisons for Adeline, we have Jana, Adeline, Normani, and Presley. Uh, and I, again, saw this one and was like, yep, it's going to be just like Jana and Normani. It's not. It's different. <laughs> it has more of that kind of like um, mauviness to it, whereas, you know, Jana and Normani both are kind of like purpley browns. And so that's why I pulled in Presley because I think of it as having more um, mauviness to it, but it's not quite as deep as Adeline. So I'm going to show you some swatch sticks and I have a bunch of other kind of like red purpley brown things that I want to show you as well. Okay, here's a whole bunch of colors to compare to Adeline. Yeah, this one is unique. Um, here's a whole bunch of colors to compare to Adeline. Here's Jana, Normani, and Presley, which is what I'll show you in my swatch photo in just a second. Um, but I also wanted to pull in Petra, Debbie, Mona, Odette, just to give you some kind of other touch points here, just to see um, how how different this one is. Uh, I love these kind of colors. Jana, Normani, absolutely adore these colors. So really excited now to have Adeline. It is the only one that I've worn so far from this collection, but very happy to have it. <laughs> Okay, awesome. So my two favorites in this collection are definitely Adeline and Evelyn, but it was kind of hard to pick because I actually really liked Cami as well, but if I had to pick two from this collection, I would pick Adeline and Evelyn. I feel like Evelyn to me has a really great formula and it felt probably the most unique out of all of these. Like it just seems so different um, from the other ones in Zoya's collection that are anywhere near it. And I love these colors that have a lot of white in them. To me, they're just like so crisp and so clean. Um, if I'm gonna wear a polish um, that feels like a neutral, I, I kind of like these really, really light ones. And then I like these really, really kind of dark, dusty ones. So Adeline to me is absolutely stunning. And I really like Normani and Jana. So if you 
don't wear these colors that often they might be enough for you if you already have them but i think this one brings something really special to the mix and so yeah i'm really glad that i have both of these okay let me know down below if you grabbed any of these i know that this collection has been out for a little while um let me know if there are any comparisons that surprised you i know when i saw some of these in promo pictures i was sure that they were going to be like colors that Zoya already released but they weren't um so i'd love to know what surprised you or if you have any favorites awesome thanks so much for joining and i can't wait to see you in the next one bye